is the Bahard Volkenmak to Kirby in the Forgotten Land. In the last episode, we completed the final bonus area, Isolated Isles, Forgo Dreams, but today we're exploring more of Waddle Town, checking out all the bonus stuff, and hopefully getting the game completed 100%. The main thing, of course, will be the Coliseum way up there. That's gonna take some more to get through, but for right now, I just sort of wanna run around and talk to people and check out the extra stuff. So over here we have Clarun. I'm really glad we were able to find Leongar, oops, I mean Leon, and bring him back. I haven't forgotten, you know, when I used up all my powers to close the connection between worlds. You saved me, Clarun. You kept me alive and made sure I'd be able to see Kirby again. You helped me when I needed it, and we helped you in return. Now we can all be friends together. I sure hope so. That's really cute. So over this way we have this Waddle Live corner stage. This band can play all kinds of music. We should make a request. So as you can see, we can have it play any song, which there are 50 in total. Cool. So we can do track number 48. Whichever song that is, or 39. Cool, so that's just like a nice little place. Oh, we could also toss in some coins. So I could toss in a thousand of them, maybe they'll add more songs or something. Sure, we have a good amount of coins right now, so I might as well give it a try. There you go, hooray! <laughs> they seem pretty pleased. Maybe they can afford better instruments or something. You've tossed star coins into the guitar case. Now the band can perform on a nicer stage and play new songs. Wow, so we can toss in even more for more new songs. As you can see, it goes up to, let's see. It's a bit of a scary one to play right now. 74 is what it goes up to now. Okay, so we could toss in even more coins, which I do need to save some coins for some other things, but we'll see what we can do for now, you know? Here's another 2,000 for you. This is expensive. All right, almost there. <laughs> it takes so long. Got it. Ta-da! Hope you enjoy all that extra money. Whoa, look at the stage now. Got the lights and everything. They're ready to rock. <laughs> You've tossed star coins at the guitar case. Now the band can perform on an incredible stage and play even more new songs. Okay, that's the last of it, I think. Oh my gosh, look, Kirby. The Deedly Dees gave us a special figure to thank us for supporting them. Aw, so this is a volume four figure. As you can see. Whoa, nice, it is the Deedly Dees. <laughs> It's the local 4D band, the Deedly Dees. They love to jam in front of a crowd and start each request off with a wah wah. Let's go. Band meetings at the cafe can get heated due to their different musical tastes, but when the tune kicks in, they fall perfectly in sync. How cool is that? So as you can see, there are now even more songs available, a grand total of 83. And of course, you know, we don't want to be playing through all of them right now. That would take a little bit. But we can still run through and see some other stuff. Like, what about, what about a uh, Wise Waddle How do you do, Kirby? Which is, here's the latest info from around the world. Ah, this blueprint is a tournament prize within the Coliseum. The most popular Waddle cafe item is Maxim Tomato. And we see 300 Waddle Dees. So over 259 million have been saved worldwide. Cool. So... As we can see right now, we're at 82% through the game, so there's still actually a considerable amount of things to do, you know? This is the movie room, which we can't really do too much more there, but I did want to see about this room. We got a new blueprint for you. Whoa, is that a Morpho Knight sword blueprint? I want to make that. Gimme, gimme. All right, let me get my tools ready, then we'll get this evolution started. So there's a couple of evolutions we can get here, I believe or at least two of them. Thanks for waiting. The sword ability can now be evolved into Morpha Knight Sword. Hopefully we have enough rare stones to do everything, but if not, I'll be able to get more soon. For right now, we have the Mast Hammer Blueprint for 1,205 uh, rare stones. Well, 1,200 coins, five rare stones. 
This one I just couldn't quite afford before, but there should be a mission somewhere where I can do this, or use this. Whoa, the hammer ability has evolved into Masked Hammer, which looks like, of course, the one King DDD uh, sort of mask that he wore for that one fight. This evolution just opened a new treasure road portal in Redgar Forbidden Lands. Go try it out. So that wasn't open before, I had to have this. So good to have it now. Okay, so with that done, I think we just need to go over here. Look at this though, we got the double hammer. Oh, and it makes fire tornadoes. How cool is that? Wow, super dangerous. And then over here we have, instead of Jaikin Sword, the Morpho Knight Sword Blueprint. 1,500 coins and five rare stones to evolve it. So uh, if I need a rare stone, try clearing the Colosseum. So that's what we'll try now, and hopefully it all goes well. But really cool to get that out of the way. So there is still a lot more to do around town, some of which I think would be better to check out after we finish the Colosseum. But I do want to see this present. The Waddle Dees pitched in and gave you a gift, 450 star coins. Well, thank you very much, I appreciate it. All right then, so that sort of helps us recoup some of the uh, the coins we gave to the the Dealy Dees. But yeah, there's other like little mini games and such which we'll definitely be tackling later today, but I wanna check out the Coliseum first and foremost. Whoa, I can hear the crowd cheering from here. Me too. Welcome to the Coliseum. If you're here to enter the tournament, you came to the right spot. So as you can see, there is the Meta Knight Cup. All right, so let's go for this. We have to get through six battles. Okay, you're officially entered in Meta Knight Cup. It's about to get intense in there. I can't wait. The entrance to the Coliseum is right over there. Prepare for some tough battles and head on in. So when they say prepare for some tough battles, I think that means that maybe we should take this opportunity to buy some extra health or some upgrades, something like that. I think I'll just go ahead and buy a Maxim Tomato. And I'll take that to go. And we'll see what we can do with that. Hopefully that's enough to survive everything. Thanks, you'll hold your to-go order as a stock item. Yep, we know all about it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to beat him up. Sorry, Waddle Okay, so going back over here, we are going to enter the tournament. Meta Knight Cup. Whoa. So we have all this extra health just in case we needed it. Um, and I could try one of these abilities. If it's gonna give me this, I might as well. So let's try this one. But as you can see, we have some enemies coming up. Let's hope it turns out well then. Whoa, Wild Edge. Here we go, folks. Kirby has entered into the arena and hopefully we can win in the arena. Oh, there we go. Okay, he's gonna charge over. Definitely wanna dodge out. Luckily, we've sort of faced off of these mini bosses so many times, it's quite easy to sort of handle it. But there is a timer up top. It's counting up and not down, so I guess that means we don't have to worry about running out of time, but maybe if we really wanted to, we could perfect our time. Okay, I'm trying to make the chain effect, but it doesn't always happen the way I want it to. Okay, there we go. It might just be better just to toss a couple over. There we go. We got you. So Floor and uh, the Wild Knight are taken out. Pretty cool. And there's the first one done. So that's battle one of six. We have some extra food if we need it. But luckily, oh, I picked this one up before, so it's not there anymore. So I gotta be careful with that. <laughs> I didn't even need it. So I guess we'll keep going with the ability that I have. Oh, so we're going against Tropic Woods next. How long can Kirby keep up this victory streak? The crowd is hyped to find out. All right, so this is the normal Tropic Woods, so I think we can handle it a lot easier than you know the Tropic Woods we had to face in the last episode in the Isolated Isles. Okay. So I might not have to worry as much about comboing them as I'm thinking. Maybe I could just go crazy on and just throw as many bombs as possible. Hang on to something, folks. Kirby's foe is about to go all out. Watch out, Kirby. Hard to read those things while playing. <laughs> I'm trying my best, out. All right. Got that a little bit. All right. He's getting lower. Just a little bit more now. Ah, I did get hit, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't mind. 
Come on, just a little bit more. Gotcha. All right. There's one more done. So two out of six now. So, what do we have next? I think it's gonna be Qualorin. So it would be cool to switch over to the Buzzsaw. This is another one of my favorites, so let's go for it. Things are heating up. What amazing moves will Kirby show us next? Hopefully we don't get diced to pieces by Qualorin. Okay, too bad. Whoa! Let's just keep it up though. Right now. Ah, oh, she just barely jumped out of the way. Darn. She's not gonna jump out of the way of that one. Well, she's not happy, but I think we'll be all right. This battle's about to get way more intense. Keep those eyes aimed at the arena, folks. Ow. Okay, that didn't quite go the way I wanted it to. So, of course, this isn't a perfect run by any means, but it doesn't really have to be. Oh, here she comes again. I always mess that up, because I'm trying to do the little slide jump, but I was just not gonna get over that attack. Either way, there's our third battle done. We're halfway through already. We're making great time. And what is next? I'm gonna keep with the Buzzsaw Blade. So I'm not exactly sure what we get for reward for this. I know that we get, I think, Meta Knight Sword. Time for clap. Time to clap and cheer our hero is here. I didn't read the rest of that, I'm sorry. But it looks like, at least at first, we have Wild Frosty, which is quite easy to handle. Just face Wild Frosty. But what's our next opponent? Wild Bonkers. Okay, trying to move out of the way. Oh, I just barely missed you with that one. So now it's bouncing everywhere. I don't exactly know how I make it bounce everywhere like that, but that was still pretty good. I love seeing all the waddledies in the crowd cheering us on. Very cool. So what's next? Ooh, I think it's gonna be Gourmando. I'll go ahead and grab a tomato, maximum tomato, just to sort of top us off. Okay, well, I think we can handle Gourmando. Toss that over there. Let it go crazy. Nice. Oh man, just barely jumped over that one. All right. Okay, that's not good. Let's try to get that back out there. It's gonna go rainbow mode, good. It's not quite at the best angle, but we still hit him. Hang on to something, folks. Kirby's foe is about to go all out. Watch out, Kirby. Don't worry, I'm watching out. Okay, I think if I just throw a couple of these, it should be good enough, and it is. So there we go, Gormando is now down. So I guess we could have tackled this a lot earlier, of course, but we've been busy with a lot of other things in the game. But what is this? Whoa. Uh, coins? Something? I don't know what that was. To be honest with you, it wasn't health. I mean, we did also get health, but I don't know what the bag of coins was. I guess just coins? I, I don't know how many we had before. Okay, we're gonna keep with Buzzsaw. It's just too good to not, you know? But what are we ba batting? <gasps> oh, grab it! Okay, we have the sword, the giant sword. Oh man, it's Meta Knight. Here he comes! Oh! <laughs> the law lone swordsman, Meta Knight. Oh man, the last battle is upon us and the crowd is really going wild. Make some noise. Okay, so it's an all out sword battle. Kirby versus Meta Knight. Can we get him? Oh, this is so cool. Meta Knight battles are always so cool in Kirby games. Some of my favorites for sure. Okay, super slam on him. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> Just barely. That was a little embarrassing. Come on. Ah, he got me. Okay, he's gonna do some more of his super slices. Then I'm gonna charge up. And with everything I got. Ah, oh, whoa, whoa, okay, come on, I can beat him, I can beat him. We got him, we got him. Oh no, his sword is falling back, can I seal it? I got it, we got the Meta Knight sword ability. Whoa. Okay, where's he gonna be? Right there. Oh my gosh, that is cool. We're going crazy on him. Now he just has a normal sword? Kirby's offense has made his opponent desperate. Things are about to get rough. 
Okay, let's wait right here. And while all that's happening, we'll start charging up. Ah, oh, I missed it. Okay, that doesn't look friendly. It definitely is not. Oh man, that spin is crazy. Whoa, that is so cool. So if we do this move, wow, I love that. Okay, come on, let's finish him off. Almost there, hold on. I messed it up. Come on, keep running, Kirby. Got him! There's a bunch of Kirby's. Man, oh man. Oh, he broke his mask. He's out of here. Great job, Kirby. Victory, Meta Knight Cup. So we beat it in just over five minutes, a new record. Whoa, a stunning victory over the lone swordsman Meta Knight. Kirby wins. All right, so we are victorious in the Coliseum. Congratulations on a stunning victory, Kirby. Here's your hard won reward. So we get 500 star coins and a rare stone. And we got the Meta Knight Sword Blueprint. So we can now evolve the sword ability, take it to Waddle Dee's weapon shop. But is there more to do at the Coliseum? If the credits from last episode were anything, then yes, there will be. Oh yeah, there's two stars on the on the thing now. I don't think there was before. You can now enter the ultimate cup in the Coliseum. Battle tough opponents and aim to become the champ. To enter the ultimate cup, visit the booth in front of the Coliseum. All right, sure. Welcome to the Coliseum. If you're here to enter a tournament, you came to the right spot. So, ooh, over this way, the ultimate cup. The Ultimate Cup is now available at the Coliseum. Challenge battles with ferocious bosses await you. All right, so we got a first time clear reward as well. Oh. See, our first time clear reward here was the blueprint. This time, I believe it's going to be a trophy or a um, figure of some kind. There are 12 battles to survive in this one, but we also get 1,500 coins and a uh, rare stone, but I guess we could re-complete this several times to get more coins and more stones. So we could get an infinite amount of them, I suppose. So with that being said, let's try out the Ultimate Cup. Okay, you're officially entered in the Ultimate Cup. It's about to get intense in there. I can't wait. Now let's go for it. Oh, there's Meta Knight just chilling out. I'll have to go and try to talk to him later. So, all these Meta Matos waiting for us. Ooh, I guess I should try grabbing this so that I can maybe get some bonus stats here real quick. Yeah, because we could do this and just do this over and over again and get a bunch of bonus stats, uh, which I definitely will not complain. All right, so that gave me the second health bar. If I do it again, I'll have to get extra power or extra speed, both of which are great for me. It's nice because you just get an in infinite amount of them. Now the thing is, I hope we run into more of these later, because that'd be great, because it looks like we're going against King DDD to start things off, which, if it's the first form, the first King DDD fight, that's not so bad, but some of the later ones get really challenging, so that's where things are a little scary. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But that should be our extra speed. No, it was extra power again. <laughs> okay, um, I'll try it one more time. Because I would like to get extra speed, but if it doesn't work this time, then we'll just keep moving. Because it won't stack past 200 seconds. It's sort of the limit to everything there. Okay, it's not giving it to me, so that's okay. We'll go ahead and use the Space Blaster and keep it moving. Into the Coliseum we go. Whoa. The puffy pink pugilist has arrived. Kirby makes his way into the arena. All right. Well, let's hope that we make it out of the arena just as easily as we made it in. Oh, I could do this. That's such a cool move, I love it. Ow, okay. I was a little bit hopeful about that one. Let's back up a little. The only problem with the blaster here is that King DD just doesn't give you very much space to charge it up. Bam. It's funny, because when I first fought King Dedede here, this felt so t difficult, but now it feels so tame compared to what we've faced since then. We've gotten so much better at the game, which is always so cool to see that kind of progress. Whoa, that was a close one. See, how do I do the, the jump and blast? 
you gotta hold the button. Gotcha. That's so cool. That does some good damage, too. Okay, he's gonna run off up there. Um, this is just battle one of 12. So we have so much to do here. But I'm hoping I can at the least, okay. Uh, maybe a little hopeful. Kirby's offense has made his opponent desperate. Things are about to get tough. Okay, why'd I shoot it up there? That was a little silly of me. Come on. Got him. Okay, that was so good. And I think we'll be able to finish him off with that. Yes, we will. There's probably a faster way to do that, but I'm not really looking for speed here, personally. All right, we'll switch to the bomb now. It's a pretty good one, so we'll be fine with it. We still have, you know, we burned through 80 seconds of extra damage here. We have 120 seconds left over. Um, right now, though, we have Wild Edge. Ow, okay, I wasn't really looking. All right. Trying to do the combo with the thing, but once again, maybe it's not worth it with how weak these enemies are. All right, just keep throwing these bombs. Cause it's doing some pretty good work. Maybe I just am better off just standing here and throwing them. I think I am. <laughs> I keep on approaching it like they're gonna be a lot more difficult than that. I think there's gonna be one more. No, there's not. Okay, that's battle two done pretty quickly. I guess we're keeping with bomb. I could pick up a tomato, but I, I don't need it just yet. So what is battle three gonna be? Oh, another Meta Knight battle? Crowd can't contain his excitement. I can't even contain my own, go Kirby! Ah, I couldn't quite get the slam on in there. That was unfortunate. So a rematch with Meta Knight. This time though, we have extended power. That was pretty good. Oh, I just barely dodged it. That was very fortunate for me. Okay, we're really going at each other here. Big slam is gonna do so much damage. He's not so happy about that one. Oh man. Here we go, here we go. I think I'm just gonna hope that he gets close to me. Because if he does, he's done for. Oh man, I missed him. Unfortunate, but that's fine. I can finish him off with just a quick swipe like that. Not too bad. So his mask is broken. He's gonna jump off. And we are gonna pick up one of these metamatoes now. And I think we're going to go back to bomb ability, homing bomb, and continue forward. And we're going against Silly Dillo. You, got, you, can't, you just can't take your eyes off him, folks. Don't even blink or something. <laughs> I don't know how they expect you to read those little messages while you're playing against boss fights. It's super weird. I try to read them. Okay, so of course Silly Dilly didn't like that too much. He's gonna break the floor again. Oh, no. I'm just gonna slam down a lot of them real quick. Okay, this story goes a little bit crazy with the uh, the rolling. Oh, I messed it up, no, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, okay, that one I messed up. Got it, okay, now we can go on him. Got him real low now. Keep at it though. This part does get a little challenging. Just to dodge everything. That was a huge combo and he didn't hit any of it. Ow, okay, he's throwing it at me. Yikes. I'm in harm's way. I just barely dodged it. Okay, good enough. I think that's enough to finish him off. Come on. Got him. All right, so Silly Dill is down. <laughs> we knocked him silly. And what's next? Oh, it looks like it's gonna be Tropic Woods again. We have eight more fights, so I would really like to hold on to those Metamatoes while I can. And I'm sure that if we sort of, you know, if we, if we die, then that's probably gonna be the whole challenge over. So we wanna avoid that if we can. I do wanna see, I don't know why it didn't, huh. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. It just doesn't stay over there. So what if I threw it this way? Oh my, that really knocked me over. And then just let it fly like that. That went way off. So, so far I'm not liking this so much. Uh, 
Okay, I can't believe I'm, I'm using my Metamato here on Tropic Woods, but my thing, like I hold the buzzsaw out there and it just doesn't stay out there? It, it's sort of weird. So I'm just gonna have to throw them normally. Which I'm fine with, I just hadn't seen it do that before. Okay, he's getting lower. All right, pushing me away. Ow, okay, did not jump high enough. That knocked me way back. Throw a couple more, but here come the vines. If I stand right here, I'll be safe. Okay, we did some good numbers to him there. Just trying to continue it. Oh, but here comes some more stuff, but we got him! Doesn't even matter. Awesome. Yeah, with these zero earlier bosses, I really can just walk up to them and slice and dice them. So, next up we have Quarren again. I'm going to keep with the buzzsaw. It just works. It just works. All right. Okay, got her again. Oh no. Just gotta wait for it to be rainbow. There we go. And she's already more than halfway down. How crazy is that? So she's gonna jump up and throw her swords and such. Pretty used to it. Oh, that just barely didn't hit her. Oh no, it did come back for her, I think. Come on, we almost got you. Darn, okay, we just need a little bit more next time. Here we go. Gotcha, awesome. So we're storming through these real quick so far. So, what do we have next then? Um, it looks like Gormando. So we are seeing some repeats, which I guess is to be expected. Okay, so. Gonna dodge that one, no problem. And this is just basic Gormando, I think. It's not a rematch. Like one of the rematch versions that's more difficult. Ooh, that was good. So you're already halfway down. I feel like if I were to upgrade any of them, because you can upgrade certain abilities with extra uh, rare stones. I wouldn't mind doing it with this one. This is definitely, I feel like, my most effective ability. Come on, I think we can just finish off with normals. There we go. All right. So, oh, we have the crash ability? That is tempting, but I'll have to let go of my buzzsaw and risk it not showing up again. But it looks like we're show we're just going against some pretty easy enemies, to be honest. We'll do it, though, because it's just fun to have time crash. We don't see it often. We might as well take the opportunity. But we're going against some mini bosses here, so it really shouldn't be too bad. All right, Wild Frosty. Come on, we're charging up. That did not work. Oh, no, okay, there it goes. Wow, the one hit on Wild Frosty. That hurts his health bar and his feelings. Okay, where's the next one? There you are. Oh, but it went away. Okay, I don't know why. That's not really what I wanted at all. But luckily we have Frosty's Ice ability and we can just sort of freeze you up, no problem. Maybe. Come on, freeze you up. Whoa. Okay, maybe that's not gonna happen. Now we can go for you. Almost there. Just gonna keep blasting you with ice until you get taken out. There it is. And I could take the hammer ability. So we haven't really done this one, the masked hammer. But there's that done. Can we get the buzz souls back? Ah, not quite. We're just gonna keep with the hammer then because it's something it offers. I didn't even see what we're going against. So it's a mystery for me. It's gonna be four go DDD. So hammer versus hammer, who's our better? So this is definitely not an easy fight. We're gonna have to be really careful, but really try our best. I am sort of being silly with it, taking more damage than I should. So that probably means he has two health bars then. Right? Okay. So I wanna send those, oh yeah, do that. Okay, he's about to throw more stuff at me. I wanna be able to, oh no, whoa, watch it. Let's get over there real fast. He is super low. Come on. Yeah, I was trying to throw the fire tornadoes. I don't quite know how to do it. 
Okay, he's dizzy. And we got him. But as you can see, that was just phase one. Just trying to beat him up where I can. Oh yeah, I see now. It's with the triple hit. Oh gosh. Should have been able to tell that he was charging for me there. Whoa, that's so cool though. I can like sort of jump and slam and that makes the fire trainers go out all over the place. That's so cool. So I can totally be dodging him and still hit him with stuff. Okay, so I'm behind him right now. Still able to get him. Come on, not bad. There's still more to do here. Come on, he's not happy, but I don't care, we're gonna destroy him. Pretty good. Awesome, so four go DDD. Taken care of. We do have crash ability again. As we go against Leongar. Oh man. So I guess we could try this and see how it goes. It didn't really work out too well last time, but maybe this time will be a bit better. All right then. Kirby's martial might has everyone mesmerized. What will we do next? Let's find out. Okay, so we're just gonna beat him up with this and see if this works. They're just sort of standing next to him and damaging him. I don't really know how else to do it. I mean, that did work. It got rid of most of his health bar. So most of it we just have to do now as normal Kirby, which is fine with a battle like this. I think we can just get the stars, no problem. Whoa, okay, I don't know why. I always forget that that's what's happening next. All right, got it, some extra damage, but then he starts chomping at you. Whoa, geez, okay. I didn't do a very good job there. Come on, he's real low. I need to not be so silly about it. Yeah, I feel like I'm messing up my, my jumps here. Ah, no, I was too late. We'll just run normally. Okay, under that, over that, and we'll send one flying at him. Okay, those are hitting. He's getting lower and lower. Oh gosh, run, run, run. Oh darn. Got it. He's so low. We can do this, we can do this. Come on, got it. Oh no. Ah, close one, close one. This is the last shot. Nice, Leongar taken down. We haven't lost that health bar just yet too, so that's pretty good. So we got a bag of something here. I think it's gonna be more coins. See, so yeah, what do we got now? I don't know, that's the weird thing. Does that mean I can just leave? Or maybe that, because I got this far, I get that as sort of a reward even if I lose, I still get that? I don't know. Um, but now we're going against the Morpho, Ver not Morpho Knight, but whatever this was. The Fecto Forgo, that's what it was. Okay, Kirby may never be stopped. What is the secret to his colossal strength? Uh, eating lots of tasty food, I think is Kirby's secret. Even though he doesn't really keep much of a secret. All right, so so far we're handling Fecto Forgo pretty easily. Whoa, okay, I don't know why I didn't expect that. Come on, just keep throwing some normals at him and then we will toss one over. Okay, pretty good. Almost have it defeated. Got it. Very cool. What a boss fight. And what do we have next? Some more coins. So I guess even if we fail, we can still sort of get some stuff back. But look at this, the final fight against, I think it's gonna be Fel Fecto Elphilus. All right, well, we'll give it our best shot here. It wasn't easy the first time. Will it really be easy the second? Probably not. Ultimate life form, Fecto Elphilus. I think it's still the same from the last one. Finally, the last battle. Which warrior will the goddess of victory smile upon today? Okay, got you a little bit there. So this battle, of course, is by no means a quick one. Even with our higher power stuff. Even though I don't know if this is any higher power than it would have been before. I don't know what we fought them with before. I can't quite remember. Maybe it was Buzzsaw? Oh gosh. Yeah, I think we had the option of every ability, and I probably chose Buzzsaw. 
has been... I know it was only two episodes ago, but that was still like five hours worth of playing this game. Because these episodes are so long. Ow. Alright. You're going for more swings, but... Are you gonna come in real hot? I remember, I remember. Oh, we got you with that. Ah. That's fine. I, I've sort of lost where I am. I'm right here. Okay. Uh. Whoa. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Okay, we'll run over now that we've gotten some distance. Or not. Hey, this is where you come in real fast. Okay, we got you pretty good, though. You're less than halfway down now. Remember, we have an extra health bar just in case anything goes badly. Oh, man. So far, we're dodging pretty well. Uh. Got it? Oh, this one's tricky. I remember this. Oh, I think I found the right, right one right away. That's very fortunate, because if we don't get rid of that blue part of the health bar, that gets healed. All right, so... I'm just gonna try to get over here real fast. Because you are so low, and I'm trying to keep it that way. All right, I gotta dodge all these. Whoa. Okay, wasn't quite ready for that one. I'm trying to get my buzzsaw ready so that when they charge down like that, I could hit him. And I did hit him. That's what I wanted. Come on, we almost got you. Nice. So we didn't even lose a full health bar there. We defeated Fetto Elfless. I feel like we've definitely gotten better at the game in these last couple of episodes, but there we go. Another Coliseum challenge done. Victory, the ultimate cup. Wow, our beloved Pink Puffball is the last fighter standing. Kirby wins. So a new record of 12 minutes and eight seconds. Pretty cool. We should get some nice rewards from that one. Congratulations on a stunning victory, Kirby. Here's your hard won reward. So we get 1,500 star coins and a rare stone, but not to mention a special figure. So let's see what's in this one. Ooh, whoa. Ultimate life form, Fecto Elfless. The elf when we first met was born from a small, compassionate soul that hid behind greater, invasive ambitions. Without a soul to temper its power, the creature's spatial teleportation ability ran amok, opening mysterious vor vortis vor vortices? vortices left and right. Now that they are whole again, they're re already planning their next invasion. Oh man. Okay, well with that done. The Colosseum is very, very pretty. It had different banners and like balloons, now it has three stars. Whoa, the ultimate challenge is coming up. Ready for the ultimate test of skill? You can now enter the ultimate cup Z in the Colosseum. <laughs> All right, well, it's Z for Zebra, maybe. Maybe not, but to enter the Ultimate Cup C, visit the booth in front of the Coliseum. Good luck. Well, I'm definitely interested in that. Uh, oh, Elfin wants to talk. Have you wondered why the Beast Pack stopped attacking and left this town alone? You certainly helped when you arrived, Kirby, but the Waddle Dees told me that Meta Knight has been fighting to protect the town all on his own. He keeps watch day and night, He's even doing it right now from the perch up there. Gosh, Meta Knight is so strong and so cool. I agree. <laughs> Hi, Meta Knight. Uh, does Elfon, Elfon still wants to talk a little bit more. Something is written out on this wall. Thank you, Meta Knight. Is this a hidden pre present code? Maybe it is. Maybe we should try that. And then we'll also go and get our sleep ability a little bit more so we can get some extra power. But if I head back down here, we could do thank you, Meta Knight in all capitals. Okay, I put the code in. Aha, that code checks out. Your delivery present is already on its way. Look for it in front of your house. So we'll see what that is. I'm a little curious. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm heading over. 
and uh, open it up. A delivery present arrived with this present code. Thank you, Meta Knight. It's gonna be three rare stones. That's awesome. Exactly what I needed. So there's one of them. So we'll have nine in total here. Very cool. So not only will we be able to use these to unlock the Meta Knight sword, but to also get the uh, upgrades if we chose to do them, which maybe I'll take a look at that now. We go back into the, the shop here. Here you go. Whoa, is that a Meta Knight sword blueprint? I wanna make that, gimme, gimme. All right, let me get my tools ready, then we'll get this evolution started. So this should be, as far as I can tell, the final ability evolution. Thanks for waiting. The sword ability can now be evolved into Meta Knight Sword. Well, actually, there's Meta Knight Sword, and then there's, isn't there supposed to be a Morpho Knight one? Something like that? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, there's two of them. I forgot already. They're very forgetful, apparently. Okay, so we can get both of these out. So we have the Meta Knight Sword Blueprint. Let's go ahead and make that. We just unlocked this by completing the Coliseum. The very first one. So this is something I could have done earlier in the game, but we were so busy with completing the main game, I just didn't really find the time to. But hey, we got it done now. Ta-da, the sword ability has evolved into Meta Knight Sword. Very cool. This evolution will allow you to enter the portal for the Meta Knight Sword treasure in Winter Horns. Go try it out, which is the one we had to skip before. And then lastly, this is the last one. Morpho Knight Sword Blueprint. We unlocked this for completing the Isolated Isles in the last episode. Let's check it out for 1,500 coins and five stones. It's a very expensive one but hopefully well worth it. Guess we're about to find out. So our fourth sword upgrade, or I guess our fourth iteration of the sword, our third upgrade of it. The sword ability has evolved into Morpho Knight Sword. Now that one has to pack a punch. This evolution just opened a new treasure road and portal in Redgar Forbidden Lands. Go try it out. Wait a second, Kirby, have we finally evolved all of your copy abilities? That's amazing to think a humble engineer like me got to build every single one of them. I'm honored. I want you to have this special figure. Consider it a cute collectible token of my appreciation. Awesome, so we get ourselves another volume four figure. We've been getting a lot of those today. Aw, it is Weapon Shop Waddledee. This energetic craftsman opened his own weapon shop in town. He can power up your copy abilities. All he needs is a blueprint, his trusty hammer, and a little elbow grease. He keeps making the, re the headgear for each evolved ability bigger than the one before. That's how you know they're more powerful. All right, so let's take a look at this one real quick, the Knight Sword. Wow, so it's, it's very flamey, or the Knight Sword. So it can charge up, whoa. Boom, that's wild. Huge slams with that. Interesting, so if I were moving, it looked like there was a second one there, hold on. How did I do that before? It looked like for a second I could maybe also spin. Yeah, like that, I don't know exactly what I did different. I guess if I spin with the analog stick first, but I don't want to do full charge on. Huh, interesting. Anyways. And our sword is extra big for a bit of time when we charge it up like that too. So that probably does extra damage. So we are even more ready for everything, but I forgot, I wanted to go in there and rest up with the sleep ability so that we can be extra powered up for everything. Okay, so. Let's try it out, our final Ultimate Cup Z. Welcome to the Coliseum. All right, so the Ultimate Cup Z. Whoa. The Ultimate Cup Z is now available at the Coliseum. Challenging battles with ferocious bosses await you. And there is going to be another first time clear reward here with a figure, but 2,500 coins and three rare stones, 12 battles await us that are not gonna be easy, but I am as buffed up as I can manage. Kirby, I should warn you about the Ultimate Cup Z. The Ultimate Cup Z takes place in some other realm where you'll face intense battles with scary foes. I can't follow you into that arena, and worse than that, I can't commentate over your battles. But I know you'll survive. No, I know you'll win. After all, you just saved this entire world. All right, well, 
If we get the announcer's confidence, then I think we'll be fine. So, we can't follow you into this mysterious arena, but we'll be watching from here. I think I'm gonna keep with the Morpho Knight sword. We don't even get full max in the tomatoes. That's a little bit of a shame, but I think we'll be okay. So as you can see, we're starting with some souped up versions of the mini bosses, which I think will be okay. All right. Oh, okay, I did a little bit of a mistake there. But man, this thing moves so fast and I'm still getting used to that. So yeah, we can spin around, oh my gosh. Yeah, our extra speed boost too is making this a bit crazy. These are some intense battles, but we got Wild Bonkers taken out already. I'm gonna charge up the super hit, ready? Boom, oh my goodness! That was almost all health bar. Gotcha! That was insane! Is that gonna be it, is it gonna be more? Let's just charge up just in case, nope, okay, we're good. I'm not gonna use the crash ability here. No, if you're not even this mysteri in this mysterious arena. Our pink fuzzballs doing something. Did this say fuzzball? I don't think it did. I just couldn't read it because there's too much going on. Ah, oh, I couldn't hit it in time. But we still get the giant sword upgrade. So that's good. I'm just gonna do everything I can against this guy. Even then, we're do doing so much damage. All right. I'm trying to keep it that way. We go so fast with this, too. Okay, it's not super big anymore, so I'll have to charge it back up for that. I'm hoping I can just get over. And then, got it, okay. Now that's super huge, we can finish you off no problem. That is something else, isn't it? The Morpho Knight Sword. We've barely taken any damage. Who we, that last battle looked tough. Keep going, Kirby, we believe in you. Did it really look tough? We're going against Phantom Clarin. Okay, that didn't hit you, but it gave me the big sword. So, I think it'll be okay. I dodged that. Trying to make the most of it. Oh no, give me that sword back. I really, really need to keep that. Let's see if I can hit her. Can I time it? Ah, oh, I just barely missed. That's all right. Could have been worse, I could have just ended up getting hit. I somehow got health back there. I wonder what I did. Something with the Morpho Knight Sword, I can only imagine. This thing is so crazy powerful. Oh, okay, that hurt. Get that sword back. <laughs> it is my lifeline right now. Come on. Gotcha. Awesome, so Clarin is down. Dude, we are mowing through them. He's going great, he's doing great in there, folks. Keep it up. Kirby and good luck. So next we're against more mini bosses. We still have nine more battles remaining, but we still have 97 seconds left on our extra power as well. Okay, let's hope that hits. It does. And now I can just finish you off real fast, maybe. Um, gotcha. All right, I'm so sorry. We're gonna do super slam on you. Now that one did not do nearly as much damage, but we're still hitting. Okay, it's over now, but here goes his super slam. All right, we got gotcha. And that should be it for that. I, I can get the sword ability again. So luckily, you know, wasn't my only opportunity. Another intense battle surely awaits. Take a moment to rest, Kirby. I think I'm okay, no worries. Let's keep the momentum going. That's also important. So we go against Phantom Gormondo. Okay, maybe a mistake. Definitely a mistake. Okay, we do have the big sword though. Okay, gotcha. Now I can really sneak up on you. That's not gonna hit you, but it maybe you know keeps my giant sword for longer. Oh no. Got it. Okay, if he's stunned. Got him, awesome. Whoa, that was so good. The flaming tornadoes that spin out of it after you make that slam, if they hit the target, do so much extra damage on top of that, it's crazy. Our hero is a veteran in battle, folks. Some circles call him the pink demon. I wonder what circles. I've never heard Kirby be called that, so. Phantom King Deity, uh, DDD. Okay, I didn't quite hit DDD with it, but 
We have the big sword. Now I can move over. Ow. So this is the phantom version of the first CDD fight. Ah, oh, I missed him again. <laughs> I don't think that would have counted anyways. Okay, he's out there, he's screaming. We can handle him. Yep, okay. Actually, I have plenty of time to do the supercharge. Oh, great, great, great. And he's done. Well, we still have eight seconds left on our extra power. And we're halfway through, so that's crazy. You've come so far, Kirby. Prepare for the next round. We're rooting for you. So things are probably gonna slow down in terms of pacing here because of the fact that we don't have the extra power. But that's okay. We'll still make it work right well, I think. Okay, I'm just gonna spin at that because I didn't have a good feeling about it. But that still got him past his first phase. All right, Kirby. So that shot's gonna miss again. I dodge it. I dodge that one too. One more. Oh, he's just gonna go again. All right. Trying to hit him with that. <laughs> Not quite working, it's okay. Okay, the tornadoes are hitting him. This is where we can land some damage, I think. All right, I think he's about to do his big spin. He's gonna throw those tornadoes over. And they did some decent amount. Oh boy. Oh, I got him, I got him, okay. For a second I thought I missed, but I actually did get him there. Very cool. Ah, oh, darn, all right. Come on, this is it right there, perfect. Okay, so as you can see, that's another one done. You're more than halfway through. Kirby, don't let your car down. Your foes will only get wilder from here. Yeah, as we're going against Meta Knight, another rematch with Meta Knight. All right, well, I already have this sword, but I'll grab it again. Whoa, this is new. Hold on, Kirby. This is the Lone Illusion Phantom Meta Knight. Wow, okay. Got him. Okay, we're really gonna go crazy on him now. But he's going to return the favor a little bit. He means business. So do we. Whoa! We got lava coming up, so let's find a little opening. And this is where we can charge up our sword so it's even stronger. But we need to move. Ow. Oh, I lost my sword from that too. Darn. Okay, I didn't realize there was going to be multiple ways of the fire. Okay. Not so good. I've actually taken a good bit of damage from all that. Oh man, come on Kirby, you got it, you got it, you got it. Nice. And then the big slice is gonna do so much damage to you, they will just finish you off with that. Excellent. Oh, and he exploded. He doesn't get to fly off with the normal Meta Knight. Okay, each enemy is more powerful than the last. Patch yourself up and fight on. So now we're actually a bit hurt. I'm gonna take up two of these Meta Matos, or these mini Meta Matos. So it looks like next we have uh, the Phantom version of Forgo DDD. This was not an easy fight in the slightest. We don't have the extra power now to get us through it, but hopefully we can still do something. So this part gets a little crazy, but you know, while you are doing all that silly stuff, I'm gonna throw some fire at you. Get the big sword. Hit him in the face. Oh boy. Okay, here's our chance. Wow, that did so much. Wow, that did so much. He's not gonna be so happy about that one, but I'm hoping this is my chance to big slam, just like that, and then move, move, move. We have big sword. I just hope I get the opportunity to actually use it. So I'm waiting for him to pop up somewhere. Right there. No, oh, I missed him. I tried, I really did. It just didn't work out. Okay, uh, geez. Right there. No, oh, not right there. But come on, we got the big sword. It does more damage, which means we can just go for him. Come on. He's getting lower and lower. Just a couple more swipes. Got him. 
This sword is something else. Crazy powerful. He's still in it, folks. We expect nothing less from the pink demon himself. Maybe he just made that up himself and he's just trying to really sell it now. Either way, it looks like we now have Forgo uh, Leongar. Yeah, Forgo Leon. But throw some fire at you. And okay, whoa. Hold on. That's not good. Give me that sword. I don't know if this is gonna work. It's not gonna work. Jeez. Okay. This is a little crazy. But we have already done some major numbers to you. The game is slowing down. It cannot handle that. I think this is our chance to charge. And then slam. It didn't hit, but it's okay. Look at that. That's hitting. And we got him. I think phase two is coming up still. Oh, yeah, for sure. This is what we did in the last episode. It just never ends. Ready? I don't think that's gonna hit. Nope. Oh, give me that sword back. So this is where things get real tricky. Okay, that's cool, but I need the sword. Just gonna do a, a big blast. And then I'm just going to take advantage of it and slam you with that. And he got a good swipe on me, but I think we're all right. So here comes Elphilus again. Yikes, okay. I need that back. Oh no. Come on, whoa! It's all up in my face. No, come on, come on, come on, what is this? I can't even move, I can't do anything about it. I'm gonna have to use my Maxim Tomato, I think. That's okay, that's what it's there for. Oh man, I just need to do my charge up moves near it, but. Okay, grab it, I got it, I got it. I think this is where we just dodge everything at all costs. I would love to charge up my, my sword, but I just can't. Give me that back, thank you. Oh my goodness. It's just if I don't get hit by one thing, I get hit by the other. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I didn't even see that stuff. Come on, got him. Jeez, I definitely brute forced that one a little. Go, Kirby, fight on. Precious victory is within your grasp. So we get ourselves a bit more money. I will pick up. Some max and tomatoes, I guess whatever I need because well, there's two more fights. So what's gonna be the final fight, I wonder? Something new? All right, let's give it a go then. Morpho Knight against the Morpho Knight sword. Oh, I didn't quite get you there. I almost did. Let's jump over that or totally fail. Man, oh man. Yeah, this guy is so fast. He was such a struggle last episode. I can only imagine more of the same is gonna happen here, but hopefully we can fight through it. We've done so good leading up to this, you know? Okay. I might be able to charge up and actually get a super slam. Oh, I let go too soon. Darn, that was my one chance. But now I know what to look for. But an intense sword battle is going on right now. I definitely want to avoid that at all costs. <laughs> I know from before that that is not fun to deal with. But man, we did this last time without an ability at all, basically. Oh, okay, I couldn't quite get away. Give me my ability back, please, please, please. Thank you. But so we're definitely not doing too bad. All right. Darn, I'm just trying to get the big sword slam and it's just not really working out for me at all. Come on. Here we go. Big sword slam, gotcha. All right, he didn't like that very much. He's gonna switch to his next phase, which is crazy difficult. He gets two swords 
and some major moves that I did an awful job at dodging. So no more big sword for me. Whoa! Forgot he did that. Come on! I was a millisecond away from hitting him. Oh no, 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 no. I thought I had more time to react to that. This one is the most ridiculous of all. Come on, don't do this to me. Hey, give me that back. I'm just gonna to try to run away as much as I possibly can. Out in the corner or something, oh my gosh. Come on, hit him, hit him. This is my only chance. Okay, so I'm back to normal. But for how long, you know? I'm waiting for that fire tornado so I can have another chance of big sword. Okay, I had time to dodge that one. I was just being silly. Come on, he's so low. This is it, this is it. Come on, got him! And we still have the health bar left, oh my gosh. Wow. So Morphonite defeated by his own sword. But there's still one more battle left. And I have a feeling it's not gonna be easy. The next battle is also the last and I didn't get to read the rest of that, sorry. Uh, oh, we do get some health from this, not very much, but it's something. And I get a little bit from that. So we have like one and a half health bars. That's not too bad. What is this thing? It looks like it's Fecto Elphilus. Oh no. Whoa, whole new color scheme. Species born of chaos, Chaos Elphilus. All right, this is, this is something else. Whoa, okay, we're in big trouble. I'm going to dodge as much as I can. Ah, oh, it's coming back at me. <laughs> okay, not happening. Now might be a good time just to throw out that charge so I can get the big sword. Yeah, now I can avoid all this stuff. Oh, whoa, 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 that's different. It came from sort of below. Oh my gosh, just barely dodge that one. Man, I haven't even had the chance to damage you yet. I'm just trying to figure out what in the world's going on here. But there is some high stakes here. If we lose this, we have to do everything over again. It's not something I'm so interested in. Oh no, I made a mistake. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, did some big damage there. Ah. Oh. Just trying to make this first health bar that we have last as long as possible. Jeez, that is crazy. Yeah, I know that second swipe is coming in. I'm ready for it this time. Now what is all this? Okay, that's gonna have a little blast wave. Wow. Okay, we're getting a lot lower now. If I could get you halfway down before I even lose the rest of this health bar, that'd be great. Got it? Oh, I just barely dodged that in time. Ah! Okay, here's a chance. Ah, couldn't quite get ya. I just have to learn the tells of the, the attacks, you know? Oh no, my sword. Gotcha. See, I know that the spear lights up and they sort of draw it back a bit. That means that they are about to do the, the, the little wave of attack. Oh man. Oh, I can't touch that fire either. Oh, my big sword's gone now. I haven't even the chance to use it. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. I was really, really silly of me. I thought that it was about to end and it wasn't. Wow, but it's not done. Okay. I actually got it, awesome. I didn't think I was actually gonna have that opportunity ever, but we got it. Okay, now it is. Just about halfway down. 
No, I tried to dodge and it just wouldn't let me. Yep, I know all about that second swipe now. <laughs> that was good. Now this was a mistake. No, wait, okay. Something happened there, I don't really know what I did. But it's time for the next phase. And it's not looking good for us. That thing is huge. Oh no. I think I have to jump. Whoa! All right, uh. Okay, I, I dodged it somehow. We're at the last little bit of this health bar. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get that, unfortunately, but. Oh, not this again. Not this one. It has to be this one. It has to be. Come on, I need to destroy it. Oh no, I did such a bad job. There's one over here? I didn't even see it. It wasn't even in my camera. That's not fair. I really don't like that. Oh darn. Oh, where's my sword? Stop, please, I don't even have my ability. Hardly fair. Oh man. Uh. Okay, I sort of dodged it, but then I messed up that last one. Okay, here we go again with this, but this time I'm more prepared for it. Yeah, definitely more prepared for it. He is all over the place. Oh no. Gonna swing one more time. A couple more times. Jeez, it just never ends. Okay, at least I got the sword, but chances are this whole phase is gonna go long enough that I won't even get the chance to attack with it. Or maybe I will. Come on. That's right, so I can jump and spin and still sort of hit them a little bit. Okay, the flames hit them a little bit. Ah, oh, darn, no. Come on, that was my chance to attack. This is all kinds of ridiculous. Whoa, that was a close one. Oh, it's going again, it's going again. Oh, man. Uh. So these are gonna go under. So I just need to float above them when that happens. Got it. No. All right, we dodged it, we dodged it. Maybe I just need to focus on the normal sword here. Maybe I'm just focusing too much on trying to get the sword to be larger, when I can be doing smaller damage with that. It, it still pecks away that we still have so much more health, as long as we're just calm about it and don't do silly stuff like that, we'll be fine. Okay, here you come, everywhere. <laughs> uh, darn, that was the last swing. Okay, we did some good damage and we're getting health back. It seems like this Morpho Knight sort of has some kind of health steal or something. So that's really big to keep in mind. Okay, I just barely dodged that one. There's some more of them now. And I'm ready for you. No, I'm not. Ooh, hoo, hoo, I got the rhythm pretty well after that though. Yeah, we're getting health back every time we do that. We can climb back from this. As long as overall we're pretty careful with the, the moves we make. Oh no. <laughs> as I was saying, I couldn't really tell from what angle the camera that was coming into though. Okay. That was the last one. Go on him. He's almost down. This might be it, this might be it, come on. Ah, oh, almost. The next time Chaos Elfless comes down. We got it. No way. Is there more? What is that thing? Come on, go, go, go. Mouthful? What? Am I eating Chaos Elfless? 
Uh oh, uh oh, that's gonna hurt. Kirby, watch out! Oh man, I think it hit itself. What is that thing? And here we are. Not again. Okay, all selfless isn't done yet. No, 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 wait, wait, I need my sword. What is this? Kirby, no! What am I gonna do? Give me my sword back first off. I might be done for. What do I do here? Okay, come on. Can I slice at it? This is scary. That didn't do anything. How do you beat such a thing? Okay, now that was a little bit more damage. We have no health left. I was not prepared for another fight. Oh man, if I have to do this whole challenge again, I'm gonna be so upset. Wow, okay. Very hard to tell where exactly all those beams are coming from, but we're doing an all right do do job at dodging. I need to get some health back. That's not how I get health back. Oh boy. If we've done such a little bit of damage. How in the world is this all doable? I can't believe this right now. Oh no. I tried, I really tried, but that was... We're trying for battle from 12, so I can try again for 100 coins. Okay, I think that might be just what I have to go for. So far, we're doing okay with this. I'm just trying to keep up, but at any moment, things can go south again. Especially with this weird camera angle because I have very little health. I, I was able to make it back here, but of course, staying here already is hard enough, but I might somehow have to defeat it, you know? Ah, oh, darn. I was doing pretty well there, but so hard to see exactly where everything is. The landing a combo does get us a tiny bit of health back, so I'm just trying my best to make the most of that. And I might not be able to beat it this time, but if I could just learn a little bit more about his combos, but something's about to happen. Whoa. Things are heating up. Where's it going? Uh, oh boy. What do I do about this? I don't know if there is anything. Uh, what? Okay, it's raining meteors everywhere. <laughs> As if things weren't difficult enough. Oh man. Here it comes. Ah, no, okay, I didn't, it's, <laughs> all right. Oh, I gotta pay more now? <laughs> I'll try this a couple of times, but at some point, it's gonna just be cheaper just to start from the beginning. Okay, so I got KO'd in round 12. Oh no, so close. This one's a heartbreaker, folks. Let's hope he tries again soon. So I think I should still get some rewards. I hope. Uh, Maybe not, that's really tough. Okay, well, I'm going to restock and then start over, but hopefully I've gained some skills from all that, so I should be all right with making my way through. I guess I'll have to wait and see. Okay, all right. Something's happening now at this point. I don't really know. I've been so focused in. I got off the big sword slice. That's good, that's good. It is bouncing around. Uh, I didn't realize it was just, a, oh no. Ah. It is just an electrical bouncy ball of doom. Jeez, how do I get through that? I don't know how I get through that without taking damage. But I need to figure out fast because I, I don't have any more damage I can take. Okay, slam him with that, but then we just gotta focus on dodging as much as I can, which is really, really difficult when it's moving in all sorts of directions, most of which are sort of hard to keep on camera. Ah, oh, please. Okay, a little tiny bit of that landed. My goodness, I have basically no health left. I'm trying to steal some back. But even that is proving to be really difficult. No, if I get stuck in that, I'm done. Ah, oh, darn, they gave me no time to prepare for it. Just none at all. But that was farther, so I'm getting somewhere. But at this point, I'm, I'm running out of both physical and mental energy, and I think <laughs> I'm gonna take a break for the game from a little. But if that's gonna be the case, what I'm gonna do 
is maybe I will replay some of the older ones so I can earn up a star or two so that I can upgrade this ability because maybe upgrading it would give me that little bit of an edge. I'm not really sure. So hopefully we can do that, but oh, what's this? Oh, hey, here we go. Um, I don't know how many I need to upgrade the sword. So I might just grind out a couple just so I can upgrade the sword because I really need the extra edge. This is just so difficult. So if we power this up, I need five of them. So I guess that's what I'm off to do now. Okay, so after practicing or grinding that up, I have five of the rare stones so that I can upgrade this. So this will be our first time upgrading a power as well, so that'll be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Power up. And... I guess, uh... Waddle gets to work with everything. Not bad. Whoa. Powered up the Morpho Knight Sword plus Star. This ability has now reached its max attack power. So I'm guessing that means we can't upgrade it again. Yeah, interesting. So, I guess we have some extra damage with it and everything. That'll be very useful. So I will have to try now to catch up again to defeat uh, Acto Elfless, whatever this one is, Chaos Elfless, something like that, all over again. That's the hardest part, is having to replay through the entire thing. All right, well, I was buying some more equipment from Item Shop Waddle and it looks like we've been such a loyal customer that he wanted to give us this special figure. All right, so we'll check this out. As you can see, we get ourselves another figure. This is a volume one. Oh, nice. So it is the Item Shop Waddle This enterprising Waddle opened his own item shop in town. He sells special items that will help you out. He also supplies the cafe with an energy drink that he makes by hand. They have a special business arrangement. Two energy drinks for three Kirby burgers. Awesome. Okay, so I'm almost geared up enough to take on the next, uh, or to take on the, the challenge again. Hopefully this time I can actually win. Okay, so the Morpho Knight Sword plus star has been a little bit better. I was able to get here with a maximum tomato. And also there's a new move where if I duck and I use the analog stick, I become sort of sparkly for a bit, I don't exist for a little. And when that happens, it's real nice because I can dodge a bunch of stuff with it just like this. So I'm just holding the duck button and then using the analog stick to move. And I can dodge basically anything with it. So I've been using that to get through a lot of stuff and it really has made a big difference. So right now we're just trying to survive, I believe. Just a giant meteor comes. Okay, let's be fast about it still. Okay, should be good from up here. Yep. I don't know if we can hit it when it's doing this kind of thing. I'd rather play it safe if I can. Okay. I guess I could have hit it while I was doing that. But oh my, so we just barely dodged out. That's another thing. If we dodge stuff right at the nick of time, it does this little slowdown moment, which we can use to get some extra hits in. Okay, I need to be careful though, because it might do its thing where it tries to consume me. Okay. Got it. Just like that, you can see how it slowed down for a moment. So it's just about being fast with that. I wanna try to hit the big sword move and then just keep dodging around. All right. Sounds like a good ch chance to do that. Now I think it's about to do this move again. Okay, oh, gotta get my sword back. So that's how I dodged it and it slowed down a bunch. So I was able to get under it. So once it goes back to the center, that's when I, ow, I need to be careful. Okay. Right about here, okay. So I don't really know too much on how to dodge this other than just to run and hope. And it seems to work sometimes, so that's great. I guess that was my chance to attack a little bit. Okay, it's back to being a fireball, which I don't know if I can do much damage when it's doing that. Oh man, so this is where things get real intense, as you can see. So I think that we're doing pretty good, but I need to be fast about this. Come on, Kirby, you can do it. Just float over that. I still have that maximum tomato, but I really want to save it for when we absolutely need it. You know, ow, okay. Come on. Those jumps are pretty simple, but they you know, I, I hold my breath when I'm making them. Okay. 
Okay, they're doing this one again, so I should be able to charge up and super sword. And that always does some good damage. Oh, now we're really bringing it. Come on, just a little bit more. I don't know if I should rush it, but that might have been it. This is taking me so much time and effort. Have we finally done it? Chaos Elfwin. What more do you have that you can't have anymore? I think we did it. Could it really be? After all this time. I guess after such chaos, there's always moments of peace, right? Is this another piece of soul? It's Elfland's soul. Their other half. Ah. Oh, and the sky is clearing up. The world's looking a lot more brighter now. Wow. So that was not easy in the slightest, but we got through it. The ultimate challenge, the ultimate cup Z. Wow, we did it. Hooray! <laughs> That took me so many tries, so much effort, but victory, the ultimate cup C. He made it back. The champion of Planet Popstar has done it. Kirby wins. This time, this run took 19 minutes, but as you can see several times, it was one battle left. All right, new record. I don't think I'm ever gonna retry that record. That can stay there. Congratulations on a stunning victory, Kirby. Here is your hard won reward. So for this one, we get 2,500 star coins. I'll get three rare stones. Pretty cool. And we get a special figure. Which is right here. We'll open this one up, the volume four figure. Whoa. It is the species born of chaos, Chaos Elphilus. A unique convergence of elements from native beast souls to ethereal butterfly gave a stubborn soul one last chance at revenge. This new creation driven by pure chaos, was defeated by the bright light of Kirby's hope. The last bit of life that remained willingly returned to Elphalan. At last, two became one. What a story. So we're jumping way back up in coins, which is good because I had to spend and lose quite a lot. Kirby, you're amazing. Do you realize that you've conquered all of the Colosseum tournaments? To honor your landmark achievement in the realm of arena-based combat, I got you a gift. This special figure is all yours, congratulations. So we get another figure on top of that. So what do we have in this volume four figure? It's him, the wonderful com commentator Waddleby. The Coliseum is always ready for battles with brutal beasts, but no one was prepared when a mysterious vortex opened inside the arena. Commentator Waddleby was so scared that he almost shut everything down, but his curiosity won in the end. What wild battles await within? It's tournament time. All right, how cool is that? Now we're back at the center of town. Where? What else is happening? Something at the house. To congratulate you on surviving the brutal battles of the Ultimate Cup C, a new photo has been added to the wall inside Kirby's house. As you clear different modes, new photos will be added to the wall inside Kirby's house. There are 10 photos in total. Play on and make a bunch of unf unforgettable memories. To try to reach 100% completion, become a master of all things Kirby. Well, that's what we're trying for in today's episode. And who is this? Trader Waddle Dee has arrived in town. If your collection is missing a figure, he'll trade you one of his own for a rare stone. Well, we're struggling as it is with rare stones, so I think I'll try to find the figures myself for now. Trade with him or search this world's many stages and try to collect all 256 figures. All right, so we are currently 90% through the game. There's still plenty more I wanna focus on and do in today's episode, so we're only just now getting started, it feels like in some ways. So for right now, I think the best thing to do is, is there any other, I don't think so. I think we have every ability in the shop, right? We could upgrade things, but is there really too much of a need to at the moment? I don't think so. I think that extra bit would just be uh, for, completion's sake, but not really percentage-wise, I don't think. 
But if we talk to you, we might as well just, you know, meet you, get to know you. Hiya, Kirby. Listen, you're collecting gacha machine figures, right? I've been admiring your collection. I just use a gacha machine and it gave me a figure that you don't have. So, would you care to trim me one of your rare stones for my gacha machine figure? Not for right now. If you ever feel like collecting more figures, I'm always ready to trade. So I guess we don't get to choose which figure. But if I take a look at the collection right now, um, when it comes to volume one, we have 75 out of 79. Four of those missing figures are from specific things. Like you can earn this figure by clearing the frenzy gig at the Waddle Dee Cafe, uh, by catching the legendary bling blipper and flash fishing, and entering a few present codes at Waddle Dee's delivery. So we need another present code clearing all of Tilt and Roll Kirby. So those are things we'll be working on throughout today's episode, as well as some other stuff, you know, there's other volume two things I still need to get, volume three, four, et cetera, et cetera. But I think the main thing we should focus on right now is that there are still more challenges, more uh, things to do in the world map. So let's focus on those first, and then we'll go back to Waddle Town and clear up any loose ends there. So we're going back to Redgar for Bin Lands for now, but if we, go, if we go here, you can see a couple more challenges are opening up. One there, and one over there. So I was right that there was gonna be something over that way, but we can't do that just yet. We need to actually fly all the way back to Winter Horns, where there was a challenge that we need to, needed a Meta Knight Sword, which we got earlier in today's episode. So let's go and do that one now. So here we are in Winter Horns, and it should be, just right here, the Meta Knight Sword Treasure. Slash Meta Knight Sword Trial. Seems good to me. So we got our best Meta Knight costume on. And what time do we have to do this in? Uh, a minute 30, so we have half of our a lot of time. The slash and ass as, as Meta Knight. All right. We can do some pretty crazy Meta Knight moves here. I'm just trying to get used to it again because I'm so used to the other sword now. But so far, it really is just slashing everybody. <laughs> All right. Well, that's not quite what I wanted. Much better. Okay, is it just going to be battling a bunch of enemies in this one room, I wonder? Could be. All right, well, we're slashing and dashing, just what it wanted from me. Crazy, I sell my Maxim Tomato. That upgrade from the the Morpho, the Morpho Knight Sword like really made a huge difference. Okay, got it. Okay. We have about 25 seconds left to Get done wherever we need to get done here. It's Wild Edge now. It's gonna keep spinning on him. Oh boy, hold on. Grippy, don't, don't, don't get taken out. But we're almost out of time here, unfortunately. Okay, that was it though. We have three seconds. Come on. Whoa, just barely. 1.01 .01 seconds remaining, I think, for the, the check mark. Yeah. Okay, 1.02, I suppose. That was crazy. Cool stuff though, another one completed, which will give us a couple more coins as well, which is always nice. But there we go. So now I think technically Winterhorns is properly 100% complete. We get the star there. But if we fly back to the Forbidden Island, we can go back to the Red Gar Forbidden Lands and get those other two challenges out of the way. So the first one was to the left, and I think was requiring uh, the Masked Hammer treasure. Yeah, so the Masked Hammer ability. Attack, Masked Hammer trial. A minute and 40 seconds for the check mark time. Let's go for it. Okay. So I think this is gonna be a lot similar to the one we just did where we're just gonna have to beat up enemies until there's no more enemies left to beat up. Now I'm very used to sword abilities, so <laughs> the change of pace is definitely something to get used to, but it's mostly the same. It just, the hammers are usually just a tiny bit slower. All right, pretty good. You can spin around and that, yeah, the spin mo motions are usually not as long here with the hammer. 
All right, not too bad. Still so many more enemies out. So I think I have about a minute left, maybe a little less, to complete everything here if I wanna make the time. All right. I'm guessing we'll run into a boss soon. That's a lot of monkeys. All right. Here with you. There's still more coming in. So I have a feeling we'll run into wild bonkers. <laughs> oh gosh, this is awful for my timing. Okay. Yeah, I think, ah, oh, darn, these snakes are a big pain. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it this time. Yeah, because now here's wild bonkers, and I'm just about out of time. Jeez. Okay, so, I'll beat up that monkey. This is definitely gonna be a tough one then. Ow, I'm about to lose. Not what I wanted. Come on, can I get rid of him real fast, or am I gonna get in trouble here? Ah, darn. Okay, well, it definitely was too late anyways. This one I'm not as familiar with as I was the sword. So it might take me a couple more tries. Oh man, here we go. I'm at 23 seconds, come on 21. Got it. So that one was really, really difficult. I had to really crunch the time there. But 138.59 is enough to get us a check mark. So there we go. So that means we should have, as far as I can tell, one more challenge left out of these types of challenge levels. So let's go and get it right on this side over here. Uh, this is Morpho Knight Sword Treasure slash Morpho Knight Sword Trial. Under four minutes is the check mark time. That's more than most of the challenges, if not all of them, give you in general. So this is maybe gonna be a challenging one. Do we have Morpho Knight Star Plus Star? We do, okay. So that's gonna be nice. And luckily, you know, pretty familiar with this, with this ability at this point. So hopefully I can really kick some butt. Gotcha. Gotta get this ranger over here. And then I can just float over there. But I suppose maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do. It's hard to tell what they really want from me here. Well, I think we started with six minutes, so we don't want to get the, the clock lower than two minutes then. Let's do everything we can. All right, so there's a key piece for us. And now I should just be good to go to one of these. All right. What do we have this time? All right, so we have two wild frosties. Oh gosh, I did a very bad job. Okay. So far I had thought I'd be doing a better job by now, but I'm almost getting pretty tired. <laughs> oh geez. Come on. I need to move, make some space. Because the spin move does so much for us. Jeez, the heat discharge is right at us. Come on. I wasn't quite reaching in there for a moment, it was a little odd. But there we go. Give me the key. And then I'm just going to go over and get to the next one. Got it, okay. All right, what do we have next then? It looks like w not one, but two floor tornadoes. Oh gosh, am I falling? Oh man, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, I'm playing. Not so good at the moment. I think it's just because I'm really, really tired. So, we'll see. This still might take me a couple of tries. Come on, that wasn't too bad. Don't let them get away. I'm trying to make distance. But we gotcha. All right. So that should be another one right there. 
I can teleport and then go straight down. So I have a little less than two minutes to figure this out then. I teleport me to the center, but we have, once again, twin wild edges now. Which I feel like out of all of them, this one might be a bit more of a difficult one. Jeez, why did that hurt me? All right. Okay, when they're right next to each other, that's really what we want. If I wasn't making some mistake. Every here and there, every now and then. Okay, there we go. So I was definitely the fastest out of the group so far, though. Got it. And then our last one to the left. We can do it. We can do it, I know we can. What do we have as our last challenge? Oh, I can't do that over the lava? Weird. Can do it over just about everything else. All right, two wild bonkers. Oh, jeez. I don't even know where I am at the moment. The camera angle is not the most helpful, gonna be honest. And there's very, very little room to work with. So I'm not so pleased about that, but I'm trying to do what I can here. That bonkers is dizzy. Okay, we got both of them. Good enough, good enough. We right here. And then we just need to go. All the way over to the center. We had 57 seconds to get there, so I think we did everything right. We'll find out. Okay, come on, that was silly. All right, get over there real fast. Coins, coins, and more coins. That was a bunch of them, awesome. So did we get the time requirement? I sure hope so. That didn't feel like four minutes, and it wasn't, it was three minutes and 10 seconds. Awesome. So that should be all of the treasure road challenges completed, but I guess we'll find out in a moment. There's another rare stone for us, getting us back at the six, and a star there. Treasure road complete. You cleared every treasure road by using all of your different abilities. You've earned a special figure as a reward. So which figure do we get this time? In volume four, it is, ah, the Rare Stone Master. It's not clear how or why the space called Treasure Road started to appear behind portals throughout the New World. A strong energy was felt with from within, and rare stones were soon discovered as its source. Congratulations on collecting all of them. Okay, so if we wanna get any other rare stones, we are going to have to just grind it out in the Coliseum. So hopefully we have enough to do everything we want. Maybe between now and a bonus episode, I'll try to grind out some more for some extra stuff. But we are back here. Okay, I feel like the music has changed a little bit. But apparently there's a present somewhere in town according to Elflin. So there's a lot to do at the moment. First, I don't think we've really poked our head in here in a while. This is the, uh, whoa, it is really happening in here now. Congratulations, Kirby. All of the movies are now available in the cinemas to celebrate we want to get we want you to have a special figure. Awesome. So we have another figure here. This is uh, the Usher Waddle Dee. After the town was destroyed, this movie-loving Waddle Dee decided that cinema that cinema <laughs> needed to re to be rebuilt right away. Sure, food and shelter are important, but so are movies. As for his favorite movie, it probably has to be all of them. <laughs> Would you like to watch a movie, Kirby? So there are, of course, all the movies here. We could watch through, of course, we watched them as we played through them. But it's good to know that we have seen them all at this point. Pretty cool that we can revisit them at any point, though. Uh, for now, though, we're gonna back out of there. Feel free to stop, stop at any time. So you can just wave hi to everybody. Uh, I don't think there's too much more we can do in this room, though. So yeah, I don't think there's much else we can do around here, so we can leave this building. But it's still cool, another figure that we needed to get. And I figure we can start buying from here. We're at 95% now. But let's look around the rest of town. Maybe we'll do the other mini games. Let's see, I also wanna go into Kirby's house and see that painting. Okay, so what did the elf one have to say? Here we go. When we heard Liangar had gone missing, I wasn't sure what we should do. I'm so glad we managed to save him. Now that everyone is safe, I hope we can make all kinds of unforgettable memories together. I agree, so you can see some of the uh, pictures up here. 
So I think, yeah, we have four there. I think they said there were 10 in total. We have six. So we will have to keep getting more, and I think the best way to do that. Oh, there's a little book, too? What is the book? Oh, this is the credits page, I think. Sort of. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I think we maybe we saw that. I can't remember. That's all the past adventures and stuff. For right now, though, let's go and check out some of this stuff. We have the fishing mini game that we really haven't done too much with. Flash fishing. How to play. Press the right buttons. When a fish bites, button icons will appear. Press the correct button as fast as you can. Don't let them get away. If you catch several fish in a row, you'll eventually snag a big one. Press the buttons quickly and try for a high score. So let's go for it. So we just have to wait for whatever button pops up and then tap that button as fast as we can. X, oh, okay, I thought I had to, never mind, I missed right. So we only got a whole little crab. Let's try again. Now I understand. Uh, X, and we got something. Okay, 176 grams, or grams. Uh, let's try again. Because we want to get bigger and bigger fish. Got it. Come on, Kirby, you can do it. Whoa, I love Kirby's hat here, it's so cute. A new record, 520 grams. Come on. Got it. This is gonna be a big one. 1,634, new record for sure. Gives us five coins as well. Keep fishing though, we gotta find a big one. You know what I mean, a huge one. One that barely fits in the lake. It's down there somewhere. Come on. Whoa, 8,129. That's a heavy one for sure, but is there more? I have to know. Come on, good job, Kirby. Oh man, is this one even bigger? No way! 8,253. He looks a lot bigger even though he's not, he doesn't weigh too much more. Huh. Okay, let's go again. Come on. Are we going to get somehow something bigger than that? No, okay, that one's a step down a little bit. It's okay if we keep fishing, I'm sure we'll find some more. Got to keep at it. Got it. Come on, let's get over it. Oh, no, I wasn't ready, Kirby! Are you okay? You got pulled off there. I thought that was the last one, but it wasn't. Darn. Come on. It's a big one again. But just barely a new record, A260. I know there's something bigger out there. We just gotta keep going. Let's try it one more time here. Okay, this time I'm not falling for it. Oh man, I thought I pressed the button, but I guess ever so slightly too late. That is so tough. You gotta be really, really quick. I think I got it, I think I got it. Elf one's helping. Oh man, whoa, <laughs> it's the golden fish, 10,178. It's the big one, 500 for that, and we also get a fig here. All right, haha, <laughs> sleepy fishing Kirby. Fishing pond Kirby, ah, Kirby's doing a bit of fishing at the old fishing pond. He looks super, super relaxed, maybe too relaxed. Hey, pay attention, Kirby. There's exciting stuff swimming in that pond, including the legendary Bling Blipper of Waddle Dee Town. Which is, what I think we just bought, or caught, is a Bling Blipper. <laughs> you can see the picture of it uh, over there. But the trick to that one is, right as the camera is zooming in, it's gonna have one that's like a very little amount of time to press it, and it's always, it was always X for me. Every single time it offered X as the button to press. So I just had to be ready for it, you know? But look at this one. <laughs> Kirby with Bling Blipper, 10,178, what a catch. All right, crazy stuff, right? Oh, I can sit next to you? Oh, that gives me some coins. See, I don't think there's anything else I could do on this thing. Wave the people, of course. 
Hello. <laughs> but is there anything more I can do here? I don't think so. We did get our percentage up by one. It's now 96%, so that's pretty cool. But I do wanna, oh, talk to Vendetta Waddledy, hey. I'm so glad we're able to see Elflin again. He really had us worried for a minute. Elflin's power seems to have opened a stable connection between this world and Planet Popstar. This just became our home away from home. Now we can keep adventuring here without any worries. Awesome. When you use an evolved copy ability, I grow a bit stronger too. My spear will power up to match the evolution level of your copy abilities. Try it on co-op mode. I'm glad I can keep up with you out there, Kirby. Kinda makes me feel like a hero, a real hero, you know? Awesome. Okay, back here there is a red coin for us. But looking around, there are still more to do, of course. I wanted to try this. This is another mini game. Waddle Dee Cafe, help wanted. This is Cafe Manager, Manager Waddle Dee. Help wanted for a part-time gig. Come work for the best and only cafe in Waddle Dee Town. Waddle Dee Cafe, help wanted. So we have a solo gig or a co-op. Of course, I want to stay with solo. Um, whoa, uh, how busy? Let's start with easy. This will be a practice shift. Take it easy and learn how this job works. Sure. So how does this work? Select the right item. Check each customer's food order, then select the item they want. Keep customers happy. If the customer satisfaction level gets too low, it'll be game over. Try not to keep them waiting for too long. But where the lunch rush? When the lunch rush hits, the speed will increase. Serve as many correct orders as you can to try to earn a high score. Okay, so we're just gonna have to give them what they want. So either that's a maximum beta or a pep drink. Right now it's pretty straightforward, but eventually I'm sure it's going to get a bit trickier. Gotcha. All right. We're going pretty quick with this. That's a tomato. Got it. Okay. I feel like the max tomato is a bit more of a popular option, but there we go. It's lunch rush time, oh boy. So now we're gonna be real fast. Uh, Yep, yep, oh, yep. So now I'll start putting up before we even get to them. So that's actually a pretty good thing. I feel like I can work a little bit farther ahead. All right, sometimes you just get a good groove with the two, but we got 1,950 points, which was what? 36, 37, 38, it's still going. 39 Waddle Dees served. Awesome. Pretty good for our first shift, right? No wrong orders, 39 most consecutive orders, and 100% customer satisfaction. Awesome. Easy gig clear. And it's a new record. Glad to see it. Your score is 4,620 and you earn 97 star coins. Hustle gig and frenzy gig are now available. Okay, well, let's try them out. So, there was easy gig done. Let's try the two star hustle gig. This is a busier shift than the practice round. Serve as many orders as you can. So now we have also the little Kirby car. So it might be better to stay in the center. That way we can just sort of easily travel between the two. Kirby car, Max Mato. Yeah, Kirby games always have really fun mini games. I was always really fond of the mini games in Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, which eventually I definitely want to play for you guys. Oh, whoops, sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, Max Tomato. So we messed up one of them, so maybe I should focus on the game a little bit. There you go. But here comes the lunch rush. And they are really, really hungry. Gotcha, gotcha. Look, nobody's wanted the car in a while, so there it is. Oh, another car. Another car, got it, got it. Okay, so we only messed up one order. Hopefully that's not enough to ruin everything. Well, we served not too many less, 33 this time. It was still 100% customer satisfaction. So that's nice. 4,330 is our score, which is a new record. We've got 121 star coins for it. So let's go to the next difficulty then. I don't know if we're exactly trying to achieve anything, 
but we got the frenzy gig. This is a super busy shift. Will you survive the lunch rush of doom? I will certainly try. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Ready, go. Max tomato, the burger. Max tomato, burger. I need to get used to seeing the burger. Okay, that's the burger. Cause it's round like the Max tomato, but also has a little bit extra to it. The pep drink is definitely the least popular option. Oh, that's a tomato, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Imagine asking for a burger and all you get is a tomato. It's only part of a burger. And only if you like tomato on your burgers. It's lunch rush time, oh boy. Here we go, okay, so you still wanted a burger, so I'm gonna help you out with that, and then we're gonna go here. Uh, got it. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, 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 wait, 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 got it. No, oh, no, the lunch rush got me. I couldn't survive the lunch rush of doom. All right, we'll try again. Frenzy gig failed. Oh, I'm sorry, Kirby. Let's try again. This time we got it. I'm a little bit more used to the symbols and such. I think we'll get through. All right, so what do you want? Tomato. Got it. So we just gotta keep that meter up until the actual time runs out. All right. Uh, got it. Okay. Burger. And so far, so good. Here comes that launch rush though. This is where things get really crazy. Burger. All right, that's tomato. That's a burger. Uh, another burger. But I have to want things from the other side. Oh man, oh man. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. No, 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 wait, got it. Uh, okay, we did it. Just barely survived. Whew. And that's 30 served, the frenzy gig is clear. Not too bad, 22% customer satisfaction, it dropped so low. Last time it was 100%, now it's 22. All right, uh, we'll end this gig for now. Thanks for your hard work, Kirby. Hope you can help out, help us out again soon. Kirby, may I speak with you for a sec? You've been helping us a lot lately. It's a tough gig, but you've even handled this frenzy like a pro, so, uh. We'd like for you to have this special figure and our deepest thanks. Ready, here it comes. Thanks. Okay, well there's our deepest thanks. And we get, of course, the Cafe Star Kirby. Kirby's taking on a side gig at the counter of the Waddle Dee Cafe. He's dressed like a focused employee, but he's secretly fighting the urge to gobble up each dish himself. This might be his greatest struggle yet. Stay strong, Kirby. All right, well that's a good one. So. I think that there's one for getting more codes. I might have to look online for more codes, but in the meantime, I do know that we have another one here. People are beating Tilt and Roll Kirby in record times from all over the world. Well, let's see how we do. Tilt and Roll Kirby. Stand in front of the Tilt and Roll Kirby game. You wanna try, then press A to play. So we only have one right now. So, let's play one coin to play. Oh, so we have to tilt the controller. Oh, this is so cute, I love this. This really does remind me of, a. Uh, I think it was Kirby Canvas Curse. I mean, there was a game on the original Game Boy called Kirby Tilt and Roll, which had a, a Game Boy cartridge that would actually have a tilting functionality so that you could tilt it to play. All right, we cleared that in 20 seconds, a new record. So what are we doing now? Okay, that, that was that level done, right? Do I have to? Hey, you cleared Tilt and Roll Kirby Star. Does that mean more will become available? I suppose so. You're pretty good at this game, Kirby. I've added a new difficulty for you. Give it a try. All right, so let's try the two-star difficulty. Oh, there's two at once? Oh my. Oh, this, this does not bear well. Let's try again. How in the world am I gonna manage this? I guess it's sort of like a repetitive motion. Yeah, like that would be good. But now they're synced up again, thank goodness. So we'll roll one in, and then we'll roll the other, and hopefully that other one won't roll out. There we go, clear. A little tricky, but we figured it out. 
So, with that one done, you cleared Tilt and Roll to Kirby, star, star. One last challenge remaining. You're pretty good at this game, Kirby. I've added a new difficulty for you. Give it a try. Sure. So we'll pay our one coin to play. Luckily, it's you know, quite affordable. So this one is filled with traps and tricks, curves and corners. Come on, oh no, there we go. So far, so good. Focusing in, using motion controls with hooves is, you know, not very easy, you know. So there we go, we got it. First try though, first try. So there we go, the three star challenge is done. You cleared all of Tilt and Roll Kirby. That one was actually pretty quick, the quickest out of the three. Oh, are they back? Well done, Kirby. You cleared every difficulty of my game. I knew you would. That's why I've been preparing a special challenge just for you. It's the ultimate test of skill. I call it Tilt and Roll Kirby Extra Hard. It's all set up, so just approach the booth and press A to play the new difficulty. You can switch back to the easier modes by pressing X on the selection screen. Oh, and I have one more surprise for you. Here's a special figure as a reward for unlocking the extra hard difficulty. Wait a wobble. All right, so here's our extra figure, but I wonder if there'll be another figure for defeating the extra hard difficulty. Either way, we have the Game Shop Waddle Dee. Step right up, step right up. This Waddle Dee runs the town's favorite game, Tilt and Roll Kirby. The other Waddle Dees ha love to play, the play his game. In fact, they wouldn't stop asking him for more. That might explain why he added the daunting extra hard difficulty. Okay, so if we do take a look at our volume one, we are still trying to get one more, which I think is just for the codes. Yeah, but I am curious, can we defeat this? on the hardest difficulty. Oh my. We have to clear it in under 20 seconds too. Oh my, this one costs more to play as well. Okay, well we have a big rush. Can we get it done? So far, not too bad. Uh, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. This way we're gonna take the big rush, ready? Ah, darn, that stinks. I was so close too. You really gotta go for it, but also, not worry about it too much. Come on. And then once I get around that corner, you're just gonna be real careful. I have enough time that I should just be able to go through this way. There you go. Yeah, I still have plenty of time to spare, so that'll be 500 coins. Nice reward, actually. All right. Unfortunately, I think that's a one-time reward, but uh, we'll move to the next one now. Right over here, the two-star, extra hard. So we are trying to clear it in 30 seconds. That's certainly going to be a bit of a challenge, but I think we could do it. So we're, ah, oh, no. Okay, that didn't work. I thought that those would just knock us out of the way, but no, they get rid of us entirely. Yeah, we just gotta sort of match the rhythm a little. Ah, oh, darn, okay. I was just a little bit off. Come on. Got it. Okay, we're all synced up. Oh no, oh, there's a hole there. Okay, the, before there was just a wall. So that does make things a lot more challenging. How am I going to do that part? I'm actually not really sure, I guess, like that. Come on, come on, got it. But was that under the time frame? I'm not sure. New record, yeah, 30 seconds. We actually just about halved it. Okay, look at us. Good, taking my time a bit more. Love getting those extra coins. So let's try the third final challenge. Extra hard difficulty under 30 seconds. So this one's just one Kirby, which I appreciate more. I feel like this is less difficult because of that. You know what, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for the, the shortcut. Ah, darn. I feel like risk versus reward, uh, pfft, it would be more worth it. But I guess we're Gonna find out. Darn, I don't know. He's just sort of going over forward for some reason. Okay. We're not gonna worry about it then. We're just going to go the slower way, which honestly, with how things have been going in terms of time, I think that'll be okay. 
But this part is still a bit challenging because there's no wall to help us. Ah, oh, man, I was so close. And that would have definitely been enough time. So I can take it slower than I think here. Gotta be careful with how many tries I take too. Ah, I'm gonna waste all the coins I just earned. All right, darn, okay, come on. This one's for real. I was just fooling around that time. <laughs> Here we go, no, okay, I gotta, I gotta reset. Here we go, reset the talent. Okay, there it is, there it is, got it. With eight seconds to spare, Okay, closer to seven seconds, but still a bunch of coins as a reward too. We got it, excellent. So, we can head out of here. That should be all of them. You could all of Tilt and Roll Kirby in extra hard difficulty. Whoa, you cleared all of the extra hard difficulty? Really? I guess that's not a huge surprise. Your adventures here must make this seem like a piece of cake. Here, Kirby, you deserve another prize for clear clearing extra hard. Have some rare stones on me. Uh, don't mind if I do, we'll get three rare stones. Very happy with that reward. Okay, so with that out of the way, here's a little tip. You can reset your controller's position with Y to adjust the tilt before the game starts. Well, I don't really need the tip anymore because we've mastered the game, but good to know, thank you. Oh, okay, can we talk to Elflin some more? I guess not, That uh, we've already heard this stuff. So I don't think there's really too much more I can do. I just need to find out another code. Oh, hello. His Majesty seems to be enjoying life in, in this town. Guess we'll be sticking around for a while. I suppose so. Hello. <laughs> oh, he waves at us too. Hi. Uh, he actually pretty upset that you were saving us while he was uh, being controlled like a puppet. You should probably give him some space for a while, sorry. He doesn't seem to mind. Okay. So not seeing anything new here. I'm just trying to find uh, a new code or something. Hmm. Well, I'm not seeing too much over here, but I, I could try to talk to you. Do you have anything to say? I guess not. All right, I might have to look up online if there's any codes, because sometimes I know that Nintendo would tweak codes for some of the other Kirby games. Maybe they've done the same with this one. Okay, so. I found quite a few of them. I'm not gonna enter all of them right now just because it would take a lot of time, but I found quite a few of them online just by Googling it, but the one I wanna do for this one would be thank you, Kirby, so that we can get a 1,000 coins and a rare stone, so that would be a nice one to just get out of the way. And some of these, I guess, expire at some point, so I'll definitely try to put them in between episodes or something. But this one was just, before we had thank you, Meta Knight, this one is thank you, Kirby, in the same way. So, got it, thank you Kirby. Aha, that code checks out. Mm hmm. And there's our present. And more than that we should get, I hope. Yep, hold on a sec Kirby, I have another present to deliver to you directly this time. I wanna thank you for using model deliveries so often, so here's a special figure just for you. Awesome. So as you can see we get, the Delivery Waddle D. This dutiful Delivery D works for Waddle D liveries in town. It gets helpful items to your doorstep with blinding speed. Kirby's handwriting makes it hard to read the present code sometimes, but this kind soul approves the orders anyway. <laughs> Aw. All right, well that's cute. So that should be volume one fully completed. And if we check this out, this one had the best rewards I could find. Thank you, Kirby. Gives us 1,000 star coins and one rare stone. All right, very cool. There's a 1,000 coins and a rare stone to get us up to 10. So over 10,000 coins now, and if we pause, we're at 98% through the game. I think the really the only thing remaining would be to uh, finish our different things here. So we, we got the present next to volume one. I just need to do the rest for the rest of it. So, or the uh, crown next to volume one. Yeah, so volume two doesn't have too much left. So I think that if we just start working on that, we should be able to get it no problem. Okay, so let's start turning the crank, because they're only 20 coins each, so hopefully we got like a new windmill there. We will just have to keep going through. Whenever it's new, we'll check it out, and if it's readable, we'll read it. But only three stars and above can be read. That's the light ring. 
Okay, we already have a uh, Quarren. A donut, tasty. Making me hungry. Kirby games always do that. Twirling star rocket. There's just delicious food everywhere. Oh, what about this one? Nope, okay, not quite. Because we didn't have too much order of fries for order or for volume two, but we're getting a lot of it pretty quickly. And of course we could go to that one model D, but if I don't have to, if I could instead um, order ta Takayaki, do this instead, because if I can save this rare stone so I can upgrade all the abilities to maximum, which I, I might want to do for the bonus episode of this series, just to have everything leveled to max, so we can always pack the most powerful punch. Because, oh, we get the Animal Sand Sculpture. I don't know if this game will be like Kirby Star Allies, where Kirby Star Allies got a lot of DLC afterwards. The Ear of Corn. This is just the volume of food. But, uh, yeah. There was a lot of DLC that was added to Kirby Star Allies when that game released a couple of years ago. And we were actually very busy for a while covering all that. We got Rabaru and Orabaru. The little one, that's Rabaru. The big one, that's Orabaru. The O is for, oh my gosh, look at how high they can jump. Try not to be under one when they land. Their fellow critters like to pet them because they're so fluffy. Don't touch the tail, they hate that. All right, well that's cute. Glad we found some more higher star ones. Got the tub of popcorn. Okay, you've collected all currently available figures from volume two. Are you sure you wanna turn this crank? No. So we can go to volume three here and get started with this one. We might want to check to see how many we have to get through with this one. We got packed out. So hold on, let's, let's take a look at our collection. So volume three has a lot of progress we need to make. So it's a good thing that we have so many, um, so many coins right now, because we really need to put them to work. And then volume four is sort of the same thing, pretty barren. But volume four is quite small compared to the others. So hopefully I've done what I could, you know? So what about this? We got uh, the snacker. This ravenous reptile can swallow its enemies whole. Once it spots its prey, it'll slither after it as swift as it can. Some of the things it tries to swallow seem unreasonably large, but its stretchy body allows it to gulp them down. Wait, why does that sound familiar? <laughs> hmm, maybe because of a little pink, pink little Kirby we have in front of us. We got a steak here. Some speakers. Of course, there's still more simple stuff here. The clock ring. All of it brings back memories out. But yeah, of course, if there is DLC to Kirby in the Forgotten Land, I will certainly cover it. Whoa, look at this one, dragon fire. Become a legendary monster with the power of a dragon. Spew fire like a flamethrower. Jump, attack, and glide through the sky. You could do all sorts of dragony stuff. And got a water balloon mouth Kirby, which is a duplicate, unfortunately, but well, we had it at some point. Soft serve traffic cone. Cup of coffee. So we have some food in this one, but certainly not the same amount. Stairs. The glider arch. So we, we still aren't even below 9,000. That shows you how much we have to be able to buy all these. Archmouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire metal arch into his mouth. This form turns you into a graceful glider that soars on the wind. Steer through tight spaces and use your spin tackle to swat away enemies. Enjoy your flight. Awesome. So what do we have next? Ooh, this is the blueprint. These precious paper plans will show you how to upgrade your copy abilities. Kirby can't do much with them on his own, but the Waddle Dee in the weapon shop can use them to dink dunk bonk each ability to be even more powerful. What a skilled engineer. I like dink dunk bonk, it's funny. I love all the description of these, they're always very witty and fun to read. Got the animal snow sculpture, got the sand one from the previous volume. Ooh, Meta Knight, the lone swordsman, Meta Knight. The mysterious vortex brought Meta Knight to the new world too. He quickly tasked himself with finding a way back to Popstar until the beast pack attacked Waddledee Town. The besieged settlement needed protecting and a swordsman never ignores a chance to train. Interesting. We have the pipe, which is one of my favorite uh, mouthful abilities. It's just so silly, hunk of meat. 
uh, the ice cream cone. But yeah, it was fun to, uh, we got the loaf of French bread. It was fun to get the, what's it called today? All the mini games done as well, the ending machine. I think out of all of them, the cafe one was my favorite. It was the most engaging, and I feel like the most replayable. Pipe mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire pipe into his mouth. Get a good forward roll going, and nothing can stop you. Assuming you're time, you time your jumps over gaps well, that is. Well, I tried my best. Doesn't always work out. Okay, now we're starting to get duplicates, which hopefully means we're mostly through it, because I think each volume is progressively getting a little bit smaller, too. Okay, this is new. Ah, the Frosty Ice Kirby. Frosty Ice gives you chilling powers and a really cute hat. Blow out freezing blasts of air and create a line of snowmen. Ah, they all have Frosty's face. He must be so proud. <laughs> I'm sure he is. Even though he's always a bad guy, he seems pleasant. Handmade dance partner from uh, the Silly Dillo fight. Ooh, here we go. Pencil drill. This drill evolution is mighty in graphite to e. It's not ideal for writing, but can use but you can use it to launch out of the ground and shoot out pencil rockets. Now that's the right stuff. Okay, some good puns there. We got it again. Back to back pencil drill. Breakable block. Ice cream cone is a duplicate. We gotta be getting through most of them then. We already got Primal Wolfy. Oh, here we go, we got Naughty. So cute, gives a sleep ability. Oh, we get Silly Dillo. Armor Plated Prancer, Silly Dillo. Silly Dillo is an incredible dancer, as long as the dance involves spinning. It's a nocturnal critter, critter so it can see quite well in the dark. It seems to have orders from its boss to find something important, but all it brings home is junk. What was it supposed to find again? Something small? And floaty? Hmm. I think that's talking about Elflin, of course. Okay, so what about this one? The speed boost. Always good to have some of those. A rice ball. More tasty food. That's our fourth snacker, I think. Got a lot of them. All right, handmade Elflin. And. Oh, here we go. Poor Elflin. Captured Elflin. Elfin was captured by King Dedede after the battle at Winter Horns. His cheerful advice, once so common and helpful, was replaced with heavy silence. Don't be sad, Kirby. Aw. Well, luckily, we saved Elfin, then Elfin saved us, and then we saved Elfin, and it was just everybody saved everybody. It was great. Attack boost, so I think we're still waiting for the uh, health boost as well. We'll get the Starcorn pile. And there's the life up. Okay, so. How much more is left? I'm really not sure, but ooh. We get his royal nemesis, King Dedede. King Dedede arrived in the new world shortly before Kirby and his friends. It looked like he joined forces with the Beast Pack, but that's no excuse for his mistreatment of the Waddle Dees. His iconic gown seems to have been altered to match his newfound allegiance. And he seems way, way stronger somehow. Yeah, he was quite strong indeed, because of the Beast Pack. Another clock ring. Another blueprint. We are definitely running low on things we still need to get that looks so silly. The stairs mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire set of scaffold stairs into his mouth. Move that stair the stairs around to access hard to reach spots. You can also tip yourself over to crush enemies. Wham! Nice. So what's left? Not the captured elf one. So we are slowly you know, spending more of our money here. The roast chicken. We're under 8,000 now. But, but that's still so much more, you know? Okay, we're starting to get a lot more duplicates. Gotta be coming up on the end. The pudding. Okay, the speakers aren't too exciting. But like I said, I don't really wanna spend rare stones on things until we're absolutely out of coins, because really, now that we got the energy drink, the only thing that we need the coins for at this point is this stuff. So we might as well spend all the coins we have. Whoa, the poison crocum. Poison crocum is a giant frog covered in icky, sticky poison. The gunk covering its body protects it from all attacks. 
but a quick splash of water will wash it clean to reveal a beautiful and vulnerable blue hide. It must have a great skincare routine. I guess so. What's next though? An omelet. Now that's tasty. And pudding, again. Gotta have pudding before and after your omelet. The scissor lift. And Korori, so cute. I already have a balloon water mouth curvy. The water pipe, which makes water balloon mouth curvy. What's next though? The scissor lift again. Okay, come on. We're almost there, I can feel it. We just gotta keep going. Mumbies. Maybe after this one we'll check to see what is left. Because before we barely had any, now we do have a good chunk, but we're still missing one, two, three, four, five, six, six of them. Okay, we can do that then. There's one of them. That was a plate of of eggs, I think. So there are five more left to find. What about in here? Nope. Aha, here we go. Sleep. Just one more minute, please. Oh, come on, I'm too sleepy. Just let me recover some health with a bit of rest. All right. It's still a really good ability, especially the upgraded version, so good. And there's the nail. Okay, we're on a streak now. I think we have three more left to find. That's not one of them. Come on, come on. The milk carton, two more left. The lizard, one more. Ah, not quite it, okay. I'm quite the streak there. Will this be it? Nope. Come on, it's gotta pop up sometime. There it is, the chocolate ice cream bar. So yep, that's all of them in volume three. So now if we move over this way, volume four is our next goal. There's still quite a lot of those to get, but it is definitely the smallest volume. So hopefully, it won't be so bad to get through. Let's go and take a look. Our first one, ooh, is gonna be Masked Hammer. The self-proclaimed king's hard-hitting hammers are now yours. Let the power of the mask take over to unleash devastating attacks with a fiery flourish. Pretty good, pretty good. Next up. Whoa, what a pull. Invasive species, Fecto Forgo, larva. When ID F86 arrived, it began attacking all of the native wildlife. The creature was captured soon after and turned into a sub test subject. The native inhabitants used it to create tech beyond their wildest dreams. They eventually used that tech to leave the planet altogether, but IDF86 remained forgotten and fractured. Wow. But here we have Napping Beast. The Beast Pack lives among the remnants of a civilization that left this world far behind. They may not know how to use everything they find, but they always enjoy the simple pleasures, like the scent of pine that lingers on this Awoofie's favorite napping spot. Aw. Whoa, oh yeah, we got Meta Knight Sword Kirby. The Meta Knight Sword has a bunch of cool attacks, just like its namesake. Sword slide, jump, and attack the, to use upper caliber. With full health, you'll even sling crescent shots. See, we've been using that move when we use Meta Knight Kirby. Next up though, we have, whoa, Destined Rivals. Planet Popstar's Destined Rivals. That's how King Dedede usually describes this special relationship. So he was crestfallen when he arrived in the new world and couldn't find Kirby. By the time they finally met, Dedede had changed from friendly rival to menace. That's for sure. Menace might be even putting it lightly. I love how these all have descriptions, all volume four. His primal nemesis, Forgo DDD. The foul fiend standing guard at the bottom of Redgar Volcano was King DDD again? He calmed back down after you removed his menacing mask. So why did he kidnap Elflin? He said he was being controlled even before some strange beast put that mask on him. Well, it seems like he always gets controlled by something. And we get another one, right, right back to back. I had three of them? Okay, don't tell me we'll get four. Okay, Peace of Leon Soul. After their fight with Kirby, IDF86's body was destroyed, but their powerful mind survived. 
they fled to the isolated isles of their own dreams and brought Liangar with them. To prepare this new vessel, they cast out Liangar's soul, shattering and scattering it throughout the realm of Forgo Dreams. Which was a very difficult episode. All right, what do we got next? Ooh, the ranger's great discovery. The new world is filled with danger and temptation. Any unexpected detour during your adventure could lead to a mountain of treasure. How many other surprises hi are hiding out there? There's only one way to find out. And that's to go find them all. Okay, so what do we have here? Whoa, the Space Ranger Kirby. Blast off, Space Ranger. Fire laser beams from your trusty laser gun. If a fully charged shot hits an enemy, they'll be caught in a flurry of sparks and take extra damage. Okay, we gotta be getting close. Whoa, we have the Illusory Leopard, Phantom Quarrelin. The real Quarrelin asked Kirby to help her save Liangar. This Phantom Feline is a fake. Formed from negative thoughts and powerful psychic energy, this wild beast doesn't seem to care about Liangar at all. She may be an illusion, but her claws will cause real damage. Okay. What do we got next? Ooh, the Blizzard Ice Kirby. Dawn a beautiful tiara of ice and become a frigid force of nature. Use this ability to skate around enemies, then stop them cold with a vo volley of faux freezing icicles. Brr. Okay, so we're wrapping it up with all the abilities and such. Okay, we get another one. Oh, here we go, my favorite, the buzzsaw cutter. What's the buzz, cuz? This cutter evolution has increased power and flying distance. It'll also ricochet off walls, so aim carefully and send it extra far. Clink, clank, buzz. All right. And inside of here, we get another Meta Knight Kirby. Come on, something new. Ah, the deep sleep. Hmm. Walk to bed, get all cuddly cozy. You'll show everyone your full potential after you wake up. Okay, what do we have next? Whoa, we have the Alone Illusion Phantom Meta Knight. The lone illusory, illusory foe that you encountered outside of Forgo Dreams. When Fecto Forgo tried to control Meta Knight like it had King Dedede, the experienced swordsman came out on top through sheer force of will. But the rest was this mysterious doppelganger formed by the residual psychic energy. Wow, quite a backstory. But next up, we have the strong-armed illusion, Phantom Goromondo. This illusory beast was created with powerful psychic energy in a realm of dreams. It's not the real Goromondo, just a phantom made of negative thoughts, but it's still incredibly strong. Since it's based on memories of the real Goromondo, it can't resist a fruity snack. Neither can I. Ooh, that's so cool. Meow, meow, wake up, Leon. The soul fragments collected by Kirby and Clarolin have been returned to their owner. Liangar, now restored as Leon, is free of ID F86's corrupting mind control. This world is in good pause once again. Cool. What do we have in here? Nice, the storm tornado Kirby. Ominous clouds, powerful winds. This scary storm wars to life with the press of a button. Pull enemies into your cyclone by swirling into them then attack with lightning. Okay, we already had this one. Hopefully some new ones pop up soon. Ooh, here we go. Is a leisurely nemesis, Phantom King Dedede. This Dedede double is made of powerful psychic energy. It's an illusion of the king based on memories of his embarrassing turn under IDF86's control. Forced to work for Liangar and, and, and capture Elflin, it has no memory of Kirby or the adventures they shared. It's little more than a, a holiday hollow husk. Okay, so we were definitely coming down on the last couple of them. Oh, I love this one. Adventure together. Bandana Waddle Dee and Elflin have joined Kirby's victory dance. Kirby's dancing is cute and carefree, but his singing voice is super powerful. Let's all sing along with him next time. Woohoo, great job, Kirby. And what do we have this time? Wow, a duel with Meta Knight. 
Meta Knight arrived in the New World shortly before Kirby. He did some early scouting and re reached as far as the snowy north before deciding to return and protect the town. Now he keeps watch for beastly invaders from his perch by the Colosseum. He's battled Gormando 30 times and won every bout. So I guess we're friends now, huh? What do we have next? Nothing new here. We already have Crystal Needle. Come on, next one I'm feeling good about. Let's get another new one. Oh, I was right. It is the Armor Plater Delusion, Phantom Silly Dillo. Formed from strong psychic energy and modeled on specific memories of his role in the real world, this phantom copy of Silly Dillo will forever wander forego dreams. Searching high and low for Elfin and Kirby, at least his stance moves are still impressive. Okay, how much could possibly be left, you know? Whoa, invasive species Facto Forgo. The invading species alone and incomplete without Elflin was trapped in the eternal capsule. Their only refuge was the realm of their dreams. Those dreams spread powerful waves of psychic energy all over the world, slowly taking control of the animals they reached. Escape would require more energy. Okay. I love how we just get more of the game's story with these. Wild Hammer. This hefty hammer is made from super tough stone. It's too heavy for quick hits, but each powerful swing will deal explosive damage. It'll even crack the ground itself. Okay, so I do want to take a quick peek at volume four. We have one, two, three, four, five, six still there that we need to get. That's it, okay, so let's hope that we can get them soon. Already have that one. Man, oh man. There is still a lot of them in general, but we've done a great job of collecting them today. Here we go. Oh man, the fluttering dream eater Morpho Knight. The fluttering fiend that casts judgment upon final battles is drawn toward the isolated isles of Forgo Dreams. There it feasts on the most powerful soul it finds and takes the fearsome form of scarlet clad knight. Let the most challenging battle of this new world begin. So Morpho Knight, of course, is sort of this character that seems to show up in final battles in Kirby games. It's very weird. I don't really know too much about it because I feel like it showed up in later Kirby games, which I just haven't played too many of, but eventually we'll get to them, we'll get to them. I know there are some like 3DS games, on uh, Kirby games that I've missed, like uh, Triple Deluxe and uh, what was the other one? Planet Robobot, I haven't played either of those. Big Red Tortilding. The aggressive boss of all Tortilding swells within the forbidden zone of Redgar. When this hothead finds a suitably sweltering spot, it stays put. It's reckless with the, its attacks, shooting chunks of concrete out of its mouth to hit faraway enemies. All right, pretty cool. So we're only looking for, I think, four more. Gotta be here somewhere. Keep seeing King Dedede's all over the place, though. So. Too many of that guy, I guess. Here we go. The Morpho Knight Sword ability before the final battle, a fluttering fiend arrives to cast its judgment. This dangerous weapon grants that form to any who wield it. For Kirby, handling this power is a breeze. Good pun, good pun. That's the ability we have equipped right now. Whoa, another King Dedede, the illusionary pri illusory primal nemesis, Phantom Forgo Dedede. Forgo Dedede was formed when Liangar gave the already controlled king a mask to further cloud his mind. He was then tasked gu with guarding the only entrance to Lab Discoverer. This phantom copy, based on memories of his terrifying turn, is somehow even stronger and more dangerous than the original. Okay, come on, a couple more. We can find them, we just gotta keep going. Not that one. Come on, it's gotta be here somewhere. Here we go. King of the Beasts, Liangar. Here sits the powerful commander of the ferocious beast pack. He's become a pawn for an invading specimen from beyond the stars. Tasked with gathering food, capturing the Waddledees to use as a powerful source, and most importantly, retrieving the lost subspecimen tagged as IDF87, which of course, I guess, is Elflin. Does that mean there's a one to 85? Oh my. So what do we have here? Uh, a repeat. So we have one more we're looking for as far as I can rem remember or as I've been able to keep count. So 
Let's just keep pressing that A button until we get it. Here it is. Whoa, the Possessed Beast Forgo Leon. The specimen tied as ID F86, left formless and floating after a humiliating defeat, fled to the Forgo dreams to plot their next steps, creating a new army of phantom beasts, then claimed Leongar's body as their own. When Kirby arrived to force him out, ID F86 had no choice but to reveal their own phantom form. And with that, the figures are complete. As a bonus reward for collecting every figure, you will now hear special music playing on the collection screen. Well, let's hear it. Look at this, 100% clear, congratulations. We did it, it took so much time and effort, but we 100% completed Kirby in the Forgotten Land. So there we have it. And here's our special song. Okay, how cool is that? So volume one, two, three, and four, all 256 figures collected. So what happens if we talk to this guy? You typically, you know. Whoa, you already have a complete collection of figures? Like every single one? That's amazing. Well, all the same, would you like to trade my figure for one of your rare stones anyway? Uh, no, <laughs> sorry. If you ever feel like collecting more figures, I'm always ready to trade. So with that being said, we have 100% completed the game. That is so cool. But there's still a couple more things I wanted to show in the game that'll be saved for an upcoming bonus episode. But for right now, man oh man, I need to go take a nap. <laughs> These have been some crazy long, difficult, episodes, but they've been so much fun to get through. Thank you guys so much for your support through this series, and I can't wait to play more Kirby games in the future with you guys. It's definitely coming soon. With that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.